Kelly Lees, Education Officer Honeybees for New South Wales Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development. And today, I want to step you through how to use the Varroa Management Tool, helping you make decisions about how to manage Varroa in your hive. Now, the tool is available on the B page of the Tokar College website. I'm just going to click Start and step you through how the tool works. So when you click Start, it will take you to an acknowledgement page that it's been designed by Tokar College Education staff. Now there is a disclaimer that lets you know that as of the time of creating this tool, all the knowledge that's presented to you was current. Also, we do mention product names and the mentioning of those product names shouldn't be seen as an endorsement by DPIRD of these particular products. It's simply to help you make a decision about how to manage Varroa in your hive. I'll click Start to get going. So basically the tool will walk you through how to make a decision about what you want to do in terms of treating your hives. Let's start. So the, question, the tool takes you through a series of questions. First question is about threshold. When you sample your hive, are you actually at threshold? So what we'll do first is we'll say that our mite levels are below threshold. So when you select that option, it will take you to a page about integrated pest management. Integrated pest management is about best practice beekeeping. So basically it'll show you all different methods that you should be using as a form of incremental control before you need to use something stronger. So if you click on each of the prevention methods, that will give you some information about how to use that method. When you want to close that, just click the X and it'll take you back to the integrated pest management page. You can click on all of those. There's screen bottom boards, drone trapping, and other management strategies and methods. You can read through those and it'll explain to you how to use those methods as a form of incremental control. If we close that, it will take us back to the first question again. Now, if we decide that our mite levels are actually at or above threshold, we click on that one and it'll take you to another question. This will ask you whether you'd prefer to use synthetic or only naturally derived treatments, or if you're open to both. So if you're open to both, you can select, yes, I'm open to natural and synthetic. It'll then take you through a series of questions about the hive itself. Do you have brood present? If you click on that, it'll take you to, do you have honey supers on? So if you have honey supers on, click that. The final question it will ask you before taking you through to the products that are available for use is what period of um, development is your hive at? So is the population increasing? Are you at peak population? Is the population decreasing? Or if you're in an area where it's cold, is your colony dormant? You select the phase that you are currently in in your hive. So let's say we're at peak population and then that will take you through to the treatment options page. So you can see with this example, if you have brood present and honey supers present and you're at peak population, your two options at this stage are Bavarol and Formic Pro. Now, if you're not 100% sure and you wanna go back, you just select go back and say you're at decreasing population, it still gives you the same ones because you have brood and honey supers present. So it's a very easy to use tool if you're unsure about what those definitions of colony development mean, you can go down here and click. It'll take you to a page that explains what population increase is and it shows you a photo and what your brood box might look like if it's increasing. You can click close to go back. You can also go back to the previous page and say, no, there are no honey supers on. I am at peak population. Then that gives you more options. So basically, depending on what options you choose, if there's brood present, if you have honey supers on, and the population of your colony at the time you want to treat, it will give you the chemicals, both naturally derived and synthetic, that you can use. Now you'll notice here that both Formic Pro and Apigard have a little thermometer next to them. And if you look at the bottom, that means that those products are temperature sensitive, so you'll need to check the product information. Now if you want to do that, you can click on the actual product and it will take you through to an information page that explains all about that particular product. So in this case, this is Formic Pro, tells you what the active ingredient is, what the permit currently is, the treatment period, how it works in the hive, 
mode of action, etc. So it gives you all of that information so that you can be informed when you use that product. If you want to restart the tool, it'll take you back to the beginning and you can step through the tool again. The first question also gives an option for, it's more pitched at commercial beekeepers where their mite levels are actually below threshold, but they have a treatment window and they know that their levels of mites are going to increase. So if they select that one, basically it will take them through to the same question that treatment yes or no in terms of if they want to use synthetic and naturally derived or if they only want to use naturally derived. Now if you need more information about synthetic versus naturally derived treatments you can click below and it will take you to an information page that explains to you what the difference is between naturally derived and synthetic chemicals. Essentially the tool is very very easy to use it asks you a very simple series of questions that will help determine what your treatment options are based on the information that you give the tool. I really hope that you find this tool useful and please be aware that as new products come online the tool will be updated so that new products are added when you input information into those questions.